This is the SSS, SAS, and AA similarity tutorial. Let's begin with side-side-side similarity. Two triangles are similar if all three sides of one triangle are proportional to all three sides of the other. So an example of this would be these two triangles here. The smaller triangle on the left, triangle ABC, and the larger triangle on the right, triangle AXY. Now if I told you that these two triangles were similar to each other, and I provided these values, it would be possible to solve for the missing value z. And I'll show you how. These two triangles, if you know that they're similar already, then you know that all three sides of one of the triangles are going to be proportional to all three sides of the other. So these three sides on A, B, and C are going to be proportional to the other three sides on AXY. So we need to solve for the scale factor or the proportion of triangle ABC to triangle AXY. So we're solving for the proportion of triangle ABC to triangle AXY. So in order to solve for that proportion, all we have to do is take a corresponding side of one of the triangles and compare it to its corresponding side of the other. So in this case, I'm going to take side AB of the smaller triangle, which we know has a length of 3. And I'm going to compare it to that same side of the larger triangle, side AY, which we know has a length of 6. So I'm going to reduce this proportion to 1 over 2. Now these two triangles you know are similar because I said so at the beginning of the problem, which means that this proportion, 1 over 2, is going to apply to all three sides of this triangle. Now the missing side that we're looking for is on the larger triangle, AXY, and that's side Z. So in order to solve for that, we're going to directly compare that side to the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. The hypotenuse of triangle ABC is 5, and the hypotenuse of triangle AXY is Z. And we know that they correspond by a proportion of 1 over 2. So use the cross product property rule to cross multiply here. 5 times 2 is 10, and that's equal to Z times 1, which is just Z. So in this case, the hypotenuse of this triangle must have a length of 10. And you'll find that that's proportional to triangle ABC. Now let's take a look at side angle side similarity. Two triangles are similar if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are proportional to two sides and the included angle of the other triangle. So let's take a look at an example. We'll take a look at triangle ABC and triangle AXY. So we'll start by telling you that these two triangles are similar to each other. Triangle AXY is similar to triangle ABC. So if you know that, and I gave you some side lengths here, and one missing side length Z down at the bottom, how could you solve for Z? Well, the first thing you want to do is establish a proportion, and you can do that by comparing two known side lengths together. So I know that this side length AX of triangle AXY is similar to this side length of triangle ABC. And by that side length, I mean the included, so the whole thing, the 15 and the 5, because it's the entire length of that side of the triangle. So that side length of triangle AXY has a length of 5. And that whole side length of triangle AB has a length of 20, the 15 plus the 5. So we can reduce that proportion down to 1 over 4. And since I've told you that these two triangles are similar, that proportion will hold true for all three sides of both these triangles. Now that we know that proportion, we can compare side BC of triangle ABC to its corresponding side in triangle AXY, which has a length of 4. So follow our proportion where we wrote AXY over triangle ABC. So our side of triangle AXY has a length of 4, and the missing side of triangle ABC has a length of Z. Now set that equal to the proportion that belongs to these two triangles. It creates a similarity between them. And use the cross product property rule to solve. So 4 times 4 is 16, 
and that's equal to 1 times z, or just z by itself. So z must have a value of 16. That's the missing length of triangle ABC, and it could only be solved for because we established that these two triangles were similar using side angle side. They had this side and this side was similar to both triangle AXY and triangle ABC, and they both shared angle A here, and that was the included angle between those two corresponding sides. Now let's take a look at angle-angle similarity. Angle-angle similarity states that two triangles are similar if two angles of one triangle are proportional to two angles of the other triangle. So let's bring in an example. Here we have triangles ABC and XYZ. Now, if I provided you with the side lengths of these two triangles, could you prove that they're similar using angle-angle similarity? Well, if you take a look at both triangles, you can tell that they're equilateral triangles because they have the same side length on all three sides. And if you're an equilateral triangle, you must also be equiangular, meaning that all of your interior angles have a measure of 60 degrees. So all of these angles here would have a measure of 60 degrees. And that would tell you, via angle-angle similarity, that these triangles are similar because they have two angles that are the same measurement. You could also use side-side-side similarity in here to prove these two triangles congruent. 